Hi, Gifty Etc. here. I wanted to tell you a little bit about my freezer setup. It's a bottom drawer freezer and that requires a little bit extra effort. So you'll see that my family keeps a freezer inventory and we just have a little check mark or a little slash for each item that's in the freezer and we exit out totally when the item is no longer in the freezer. Using this inventory, every time I take something out or put something into the freezer, really helps me keep track of what I have. And now we're going to turn to the freezer, and you can see that I have French doors on my refrigerator. And when I open the bottom drawer, I have some pieces of labels that I use to tell people what goes into which part of the freezer. That way, I can sort of make sure that my family can't complain that they don't know where things go. A couple tricks I use, I put stock vegetables right here next to the ice because I'm constantly chopping vegetables and have just a little extra that I can throw in that bag without digging through the freezer. Here I have all of our items that are store bought and these are particularly for my children or my husband on a quick night when I'm not cooking. Most nights I do cook a homemade meal so um, even though this looks like a lot, this will last us a very, very long time. You know, maybe they'll get corn dogs once a month, that sort of thing. Underneath, I have the things that I actually use in cooking. And since my husband doesn't really cook other than grilled cheese sandwiches, um, generally I am the person who's going to be digging through these parts so I can keep them kind of neat. You'll see that I have my meats right here in this area. And under there I have a little basket that actually holds all the ground beef and kind of separates it into two different sections. Over here I have all my vegetables. The heaviest ones are on the bottom and then on the top I have the fresh corn on the cob that I froze and little bits of onions or whatever was left over that I froze that I might cook with. Over on this side I also use little plastic containers. Let me see if I can show them to you to divide up food and in the front I have all my prepared meals or ingredients, things like enchilada sauce, spaghetti sauce, freezer meals, that sort of thing. And in the back, I have breads and fruits. We don't keep a whole bunch of fruit in the freezer, just maybe some stuff for smoothies. So it's a little tucked in place over there. So far, this is working for us. I know it's very, very difficult to deal with a bottom drawer freezer. So I hope this video helps some of you to organize it in a way that works for your family.